Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rock Fleet Midhand Railway to Watercrest Line. Site now of the Harry Potter footbridge, previously at King's Cross Station. Projects are relocated here, started in 2009. It's taken over 18 months since we signed the agreement with Network Rail in October 2010. We formally open the whole structure today. Even then, it's been a bit of a close run thing. There was lots of welding and fabrication going on on Thursday. Last concrete was laid on Friday. And um, I was still touching up paintwork yesterday afternoon. Uh, but as you also see, there are still a few bits and pieces to do to finish everything off. With lots of people to thank. And the little booklet in the tray was designed to cover most of those people who contributed to the project. Um, but I think it's important that we record uh, our thanks to the network rail who donated the bridge and gave us the handsome grant towards the cost of transport repainting and the Railway Heritage Trust for their grant towards the cost of re erection. And lastly, the um, Heritage Lottery Fund grant funding research and interpretation on the bridge and the company that builds it, Andrew Handystein. And uh, we hope that you consider that the results we've achieved are worth all the effort that so many people have put in. And in conjunction with the Heritage Lottery Fund, children at Rockley School who are here with us today have also done a project and you'll see the results of some of their work in a moment inside. There are a couple of individuals, nonetheless, I think it's important that I do thank today. One is Paul Tanner, who's a structural engineer, who's done a lot of work for us as a volunteer, and also Rob Parrish, who's done a lot of work with his crane lorry. Thanks to both. May I briefly draw your attention to the achievements of Andrew as he died, one of this country's major Victorian engineering companies, whose products were exported all across the globe. And in this country, they produced the Elwood Bridge in London, Olympia, Manchester Central Station, many other bridges, and lots of Victorian post boxes. The name of Handy Stide has become more well known around this past. Recently, the name of Handy Stide Place was given to a housing development in Four Marks, just three miles up the road from here. And on ringing up the company, I was told that they had been issued recognition of our new footprint. So, can I now ask Thomas James, the Managing Director of the Railway, to say any further words, and then we'll ask the William McAlpine to do the formal ribbon cutting. I won't keep you in the rain too long, but the one person David has to thank is himself. So, <laughs> John was Cut the ribbon. Two is to pull the ribbon on the Railway Heritage Trust plaque, and then we can walk across the footbridge and ask, ask him to just unveil the handy side plaque on the other side of the bridge. And then we can go down the ramp uh, to see what's on display inside, and the engine will be drawn up under the bridge if anybody wants to take photographs. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I go to the street. Yeah. 
directors from the downside buildings uh, to the central platform and outside offices. Uh, the clock and the bridge featured in many films of King's Cross, the Elizabethan Express, which I haven't seen, and the 39 Steps, which is perhaps most well known until recently. Uh, then, of course, Tom came Harry Potter in 2001, and um, Harry Potter with a lot of stone, and we saw Hagrid escorting Harry over the bridge to platform nine and three quarters, so he could join the Hogwarts of the Great National, he bore red Hogwarts. Um, as a result, the bridge fair was assured, and they got the name of the Harry Potter Bridge. Unfortunately, the reconstruction of King's Cross Station required a footbridge at the location of the Handyside Bridge. Uh, this had to have escalators and lifts, so the original bridge was not fit for purpose. Uh, but it was trademark listed, and uh, so it couldn't be scrapped, uh, which was fortunate. And there was another um, fortunate thing, but uh, there the, the was some spelling about this. Uh, in the chair box of the Rubber Heritage Trust, David Snow, who we already met, and the network um, Rail Kings Cross team. Uh, and the they the, the, the went there want. And here it is. Magic. Magic. The whole bridge is magic. Um, uh, of course it did uh, change colour in the in, in the in the original from uh, from the original colour uh, to the Apple uh, uh, green, rather than that green. Obviously, uh, obviously uh, it gives access to the mid to the border of the shop, but I'm sure it will be more useful here than it was in East Cross. I think it looks better. <laughs> um, and, and so I'm going to unveil this back by opening a room. And I wish everybody well. It really is a great tale of cooperation, and it is amazing when everybody works together what can be achieved. And I think this is a fantastic achievement, and I'm glad we have that here to commemorate it. So I'm going to pull the screen.